Justin and Mrs. Martin, and I had the pleasure of working on him with, uh, or to write Henry and Mike's Bike Mystery. Um, do you want to talk about what inspired you to write it? Yeah. Um, I really like mysteries, and my tagline is, if you find a thief, don't let him get away. Oh. Enjoy. Henry and Mike's Bike Mystery, written by Martin Sine. Interior, Henry's apartment building. Henry's apartment, morning. Henry, 10 years old, wakes up in his bed. Mike, a brown, short-haired dog with floppy ears, crawls in and carries his leash. Let's go for a walk. Okay, okay. Henry gets dressed and they go outside. Exterior, outside Henry's apartment building, morning. Henry and Mike come out of the apartment. Where's your bike? I thought it was here. It was here. Uh, I heard in the newspaper there was a thief in town. Some people said they think the school, they're still closed, too. They start to look around for where the bike could be. Henry sees something. Hey, hey, hey. Look, I found some footprints. Mike walks over to Henry. They both follow the trail of footprints all the way to the forest. Exterior forest day. The forest is dark and scary. Henry is sweating as he and Mike follow the footprints. The footprint trail suddenly stops. And Henry says... Well, why did they stop? Maybe the, the thief's shoes got dry. I think we should go deeper into the woods. Let's keep going until we find something. That's fine with me. Henry and Mike go deeper into the forest where it gets even darker. They both spot honey swirled on the side of a tree trunk. And there are other patches of honey going all the way up the side. A trail of it going all the way to the top of that tree. They walk up to the tree and Henry starts to climb the tree. <laughs> oh, wait! Don't leave me! I, I don't have a choice. The thief could be up there. And, and you just don't have any climbing skills. <laughs> so just wait here and I'll be right back. And you have to stand guard now. Okay. Henry climbs the tree by himself. Mike hides himself in the bushes and waits. Henry gets up to the top of the tree and looks around, but doesn't see anything. He climbs back down. He looks around, but can't find Mike. Mike, where are you? Over here! He crawls out and joins Henry. Did the thief come by? Uh, no, no, I did not see him. <laughs> they suddenly hear the ringing of a bike bell. Mike sees the thief, an ugly man, 65 years old in the shadows nearby, with Henry's shiny bike. Roy, <laughs> stop right there! God, it's the thief! The thief runs with the bike and Henry and Mike chase after him. The thief runs out of the woods with Henry's bike back into the town with Henry and Mike in pursuit. <laughs> The thief runs past a 7-Eleven with Henry and Mike right behind him. A police officer, 57 years old, in a blue suit with a badge, is inside the store and sees them all running by. The police officer joins the chase and follows them into the grocery store. The officer holds up his hand and says, Everybody stop! Everyone freezes and puts their hands up. Henry, Mike, and the thief turn to the officer. What's going on here? This guy is the thief. This is the guy who's been running around town taking everything, and he stole my bike. This is the guy? That's the guy. I'm going to have to arrest you then. The thief quietly sneaks off and makes a break for it. Hey, hey, you're not getting away from me. Uh-oh. And me. And me too. Ruff, ruff. Exterior, street, outside the grocery store, daytime. The police officer, Henry and Mike, pile into the officer's police car and drive after the thief. The thief climbs onto Henry's bike so he can go faster. They close in on the thief as they drive. The thief tries to pedal faster. The police officer pulls out his handcuffs, waves them like a lasso, and throws them out the window at the thief. They land on the thief's wrists and cuff them behind his back. The thief falls to the ground. Henry, Mike, and the police officer climb out of the car, and the police officer grabs that thief. We got him! Henry rushes to his bike, glad to have it back. Are you sure this is your bike? Oh, yeah. Yes, this is it. 
Why did you steal that stuff anyway? Because I just wanted a bike. <laughs> I've always wanted a bike. <laughs> <laughs> you had the money, you could have just bought it, but you stole it. Take it away! Are you sure you want this bike anyway? I mean, it's pretty old. <laughs> you can probably get a new one at the store. <laughs> All right, well, Steve Fole stole it from me, so he should be in trouble. But if, but if he really wants to take this bike, I can give it to him and get a new one for me. Okay, you know, I can hold the bike while the thief is in jail. <laughs> he carries the thief and the bike away. <laughs> and Henry says... All right, let's go to the bike store. Ruff, <laughs> ruff! Exterior bike store day. Henry and Mike come out of the store with a brand new bike. A salesman sees them. Hey, do you guys need a lock and a code for that bike? Uh, yes, we do. Ruff, ruff. It needs to have a password. No one can figure it out. So it doesn't get stolen again. I should have gotten a better lock as soon as I heard there was a thief in town. The salesman hands them a lock and whispers something into Henry's ear. <laughs> No one will ever figure that out. <laughs> he turns to his dog, Mike. Let's go home. It's been a long day. Ruff, ruff. Now, with a brand new bicycle, they leave to finally go home and rest. The end. <laughs> <laughs>